Just nice little, nice, nice little inputs. There you go. Push forward a little bit. All right, coming on with you. All right. Let's try it one more time, and you're going to have all controls. All right? Oh my gosh. Here we go. One more time with the cyclic. Then we're going to have go and give you all controls as the last thing. You ready? Hey, it's Kenny with Helicopter Lane Ground School. My daughter Gloria is going out for an introductory flight in the Cabri with Chris Hauser. Some of you know Gloria from way back in videos 10 years ago when she's about this big. She has been on the controls when she was younger, but I've never taken, out, taken her out for a legitimate introductory flight. So she hasn't actually been on the controls in a lot of years. So being 17 now, she finally decided she wanted to go for it. So I'm gonna have Chris tell you real quick what he's gonna do with her during the introductory flight and what you could expect going for an intro in the Cabri with Chris Hauser. So just give us the quick description of what you do during a intro flight, Chris. All right, so Sweet Aviation offers two types of discovery flights. One is the person who just wants to go for a ride. They've never been in a helicopter. They just wanna go up, they wanna see the, their house, they wanna see their town they grew up in, whatever. We just take them up for a half an hour flight and that's it. The second one, which is about 80 or 90% of our, our discovery flights are people who are interested in flying helicopters. So with that type of flight, I actually give them the controls pretty much from the get-go. So with Gloria today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little ground discussion, kind of talk about altitude, heading, power, that kind of stuff. We'll head out from Goshen here. And then as soon as we get up to altitude, I'm just gonna give her the controls. I'm gonna give all sets of controls to her and just say, hey, kind of maintain you know, your altitude and the heading, and then we'll talk about turns and, and descents and ascents and that kind of stuff. And we'll do that for about 15 minutes or so. And then we're gonna come back into the airport and then we're gonna do hovering. And from there, what I'll do is I'll give her one control at a time. I'll start with the pedals. We'll talk about what the pedals do. And then I'll tell her that she'll have the pedals. And then I'll tell her to ask, you know, give her or give me a left or right headings or pedal turns. And then from there, we go to the, the uh, collective and I'll tell her just kind of hold altitude and then we'll climb up and then we'll come down. And then we'll do the cyclic which is going to be the hardest control. And I'll just tell her, hey, try to maintain the same spot over the ground. After she has done one of each, then at the very end, the last couple minutes, I will give her all sets of controls and she will try hovering. And then, nice. and that is what how I conduct a discovery flight for someone who is interested in flying. And it's a pretty, uh, it's an eye opener for them because a lot of people, most of the time when people are finished, they their only comment is, Wow, it's harder than what it looks. Right. So that's how we do it in as we Awesome. All right. Well, we're gonna set some GoPros up in the helicopter. Down below, a free PDF of the helicopter maneuver guide that we put together for you. It shows majority of the maneuvers that you'll need for the private pilot rating. That's down below. Check it out. And let's uh, head out to the helicopter. All right. All right, you ready to do it? Yeah. Right, here we go. I'm just gonna pick us up. If you want to put your feet on the pedals and your right hand on the cyclic, your left hand on the collective, and just kind of ride along, just kind of have a loose touch on it, and just follow me through. We're gonna pick it up. Here's our start position, a little bit of right pedal, a little right cyclic and half cyclic. We're gonna slowly raise collective here. Gonna get light on the ground, or light on the skids here. So the movements on the controls are very just, very light, very, very minute movements. All right, tail's clear on your side. Right pedal turn coming around. Wind's coming through the buildings here, pushing us around just a little bit. We'll jump the grass here. We'll do a power check, make sure everything's good to go, and then we'll depart. All right, quick little power check here. Right pedal, tail's clear on your side. So you see how we're pulling 88% right now, right here? 86, it's gonna be our power. So when we're up flying that we know that when we're hovering, we're pulling about 80 to 86% here, depending on what we're doing. All right, they ready? Sure. Here we go. Goshen traffic, helicopter 763, Jared, South departing taxiway Alpha, parallel 27 with south turnout in Goshen. All right, we're on car lines are off, gauges aren't in green. All right, so good, got plenty of fuel. Alright, 
right, clear on the left, coming left. Helicopter that just left Ghost, uh, about a half mile south of the runway to the Bald Eagle, check them out. Yeah, I'm looking at it, it's kind of cool. See that? See that guy right there? Yeah. Bald Eagle right there. <laughs> See him? Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up to 15. So right now we're at 1300. We're gonna climb up to the 15 that we talked about. And then once we get to the 15, I'm gonna push the cyclic forward a little bit, build some airspeed. And then as I'm doing that, I will raise collective a little bit in order so we don't lose our 15. And then once we get that, then the aircraft's gonna be yours. All right, sound good? You're supposed to be like, yay, yeah. Yeah, it's great, I'm so excited. <laughs> It'll be fine. All right, here comes our 15. I'm just gonna start pushing cycling forward a little bit as I raise up a little bit on the collective so we don't lose altitude. All right, so here we go. So feet on the pedals. Remember the feet, the pedals are just gonna keep that ball in the center. So if the ball goes off to the left, then you're just gonna add a little bit of left pedal, okay? The collective in your left hand is for us to go up and down. Cyclic with your right hand is all about pushing us forward to make us go forward or left and right, okay? Okay. All right, and remember, very small movements. Are you ready? Nice and easy, just move the controls, just... Which way? Well, whichever way that needs to be done. Well, I'll help you. All right, here we go. I'm going to give them to you. Here we go. Oh, my All right, gosh. here we go. You're going to have the, the aircraft in three, two, one. You've got the aircraft. Okay. Oh. So now just a little bit of left cyclic input. There you go. Good. Just keep us level. There you go. Nice. It's not so hard, I haven't done anything. Okay, so now let's go to the left just a little bit. So add just a little bit of left cyclic. A little bit more. There you go, good. A little, just a hair aft. So what we're doing now, we're starting to get into this little os oscillating where we're coming up and down, kind of like a roller coaster. Yeah. So it's just very small, minute inputs, there you go. All right, so now let's make a left turn. So what you're gonna do is add a little bit of left cyclic input. There you go. And now let's come up on the collect a little bit. So we've come down on our power a little bit. So let's come up with it just a little bit. There you go. Nice. Okay, now let's continue to make our left turn. And we'll kind of head in a easterly direction here. There you go, good. Little aft cyclic. Good, now once we roll out on our heading, then just kind of bring that cyclic back to center. That's kind of little half cycle. So we're, what we're trying to do is avoid that roller coaster, that up yeah. and down. There you go. So raise collective just a little bit. Give us just a little bit more power. And as you're going to do that, you're going to add a little bit of right pedal. Get that ball back in the center. There you go. Nice. Now just kind of hold this heading. Keep us level. And just we'll just continue on this heading. Okay, so if we start to go off to the left a little bit, just we'll add just a little bit of right cyclic. And just a little bit of forward, there you go. Look at that, nice. Okay, so come right just a little bit. How's it feel? Uh, weird. Pretty simple, huh? All right, so what I would like for you to do now is I like for you, let's see if we can climb up to like 2,000. We may not be able to get up that high, but let's go up to 1,800. So what I want you to do, maintain that airspeed right there at 60, and now just raise that collective with your left hand and come back on your cyclic just a little bit. And as you're raising collective, you're off just a little bit on the left, so just add a little bit of left pedal there. There you go. And just continue to bring that, that collective up. Little half cyclic to reduce our airspeed till we come up. There we go, now just continue, kind of keep bringing that cyclic up. Okay, now as you're doing that, a little bit of right pedal. There you go, kind of just hold right here. Kind of hold, we're gonna climb. A little bit of right pedal, right pedal. Good, we're gonna continue to climb, now push forward. Traffic took him at G186, come out to the east. All right, so we're getting 18, a little 7, slow, 20. so let's push the cyclic forward a little bit. There, there you go. That will build that airspeed. Now just keep pushing forward now just a little bit so we don't bring that nose back up. Good traffic, one Fox, now they come in 57. Good. All right, let's make a little bit of right turn. We'll follow this road out just a little bit. Now, let's 
see if we can get our airspeed back here. So now you're gonna push forward with the cyclic. And as you do that, you're gonna raise collective up. There you go. And now let's see, let's just have a little bit of left pedal, get that ball back in the center. There you go. Sweet. Yeah, flying a helicopter. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go to sleep over here. No, don't do that, please. <laughs> All right, so just a little, okay, so cycling to the left just a little bit. There you go, and push forward just a hair. Cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just push forward just a hair. All right, so let's make a left turn. So just add a little bit of cycling to the left. Okay, and then you see this road over here to our right? Let's just run parallel that road. And the airport's gonna be over there about our 10 o'clock. So we're gonna head back that way to make an approach into the runway. There you go. So just kind of put, keep that road to your right there. Just run parallel of it. BFR, 90% of the time our eyes are outside looking outside. Then we're just glancing back inside to look to see where our instruments are. Nice. You've been doing this whole time. I've just been kind of riding along here. All right, so you see the runway over there? Yes. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a left turn. So just add a little bit of left cyclic input. Don't push forward though. There you go, just bring that collective up. There you go, a little bit of left pedal. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run parallel this road and you can see the runway. So we're gonna shoot for that runway. We'll be after this airplane. Good, this is you flying, I'm just here. You're doing just fine. I think if you don't think about it, you do great. Yeah. Yeah, just keep looking at that runway and just once we get a little closer, we'll, we'll start our descent in. So when that nose starts to come back down, just come a little aft cyclic. And then if she starts to come up too high, then just push it forward. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to anticipate that up and down motion there and trying to eliminate it. Good job. This is all you. See those big blocks there, kind of about a thousand feet in on the runway there, just past the, the red lights? Yeah. That's where we're shooting for. All right, warning caution lights are off, gauges are in the green. We've got plenty of fuel, landing light is on. Looking good. Okay, so now as we start to get a little closer, you're just gonna slowly start to lower that collective a little bit. As you do that, we're gonna add a little bit of left pedal. Keep us lined up, there you go. And now just start lowering that collective a little bit more. A little aft cyclic, don't you see how the nose kind of came down? There you go. There you go, just keep pushing forward there, there you go. Good. Now as we start to come down, now you're gonna start raising collective just a little bit, so just so she can just, so start, still come down. There you go, a little aft cyclic, looking good. All right, I'm gonna come on with you just so we can clean it up, a little aft cyclic, a little up collective. There you go. Keep coming up, and as you're doing, as we're slowing down, we're gonna add a lot of right pedal. There you go. Nice. All right, I'm on the controls with you. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the pedals. Okay, we're gonna start you off with the pedals. All right, so I've got all the controls right now. I'm gonna put us into the wind. And then when I tell you to, I want you to put your, well, you can go ahead and put, rest your feet on the pedals if you want. I'm gonna put us into the wind. The pedals control the heading, right? Wherever the, wherever the nose is pointing, that's where, that's how you're controlling it with the pedals. Okay? So right now we're into the wind. We're facing this direction. I want you got your feet on the pedals. All right, so the blades turn clockwise, which means the aircraft body will spin to the left. So the, the aircraft already wants to spin to the left. So you're gonna have to counter that with the right pedal. If the aircraft starts to go to the left, then we're gonna add right pedal. If we go too much right pedal, then you're just gonna add a little bit of left pedal, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? All right, I'm gonna give you the pedals in three, two, one. You have the pedals. Okay, so just keep us pointing right down the taxiway. So add right pedal, right pedal, more right pedal, more right pedal, more right pedal. There you go. Nice, there you go. Now to bring us back around the other way, so we'll be into the wind. Yep, just keep adding right pedal. Right pedal. Okay, now push right pedal, full right pedal. Right, there you go. There we go, good. So yeah, it's just all about getting that pedal in there, all right? You got it? 
Uh, all right, you still got the pedals. Uh, don't worry about your dad over there. Just You got the pedals, all right? He's distracting. I uh, don't even look at him. <laughs> so give me a little bit of right pedal. Keep us facing right down taxiway. There you go, good. Okay, so now we're coming to the right a little bit. So just release, kind of let go a little bit of that pressure. And now, now right pedal again to keep us right back on the taxiway. More right pedal, there you go. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to give me a 360 right pedal turn, okay? So tail's clear on your side, so just push that right pedal in enough that it gets us spinning to the right. There you go, good. And just keep pushing. Just keep pushing and keep making that aircraft turn to the right. There you go. Okay, if we get too fast, then just butt up a little bit of your pressure. There you go, keep on coming. Nice, good. Now, we're gonna do a left pedal turn, but it doesn't take hardly any pressure at all for the left pedal. You're just really letting, letting the right pedal up a little bit and she'll come to the, she'll start to spin to the left. So just kind of release that right pedal a little bit. And then if we get going too fast, add that right pedal, push right pedal. There you go, good. All right, good, don't look at him. All right, I got the pedals. All right, so good. Now I want you to take your left hand and put it on the collective. Left hand, left, left, left hand, left. collective, there you go. Next to you, the collective yes. next to you. All right, so now this controls up and down, right? All right, so I'm gonna give you the collective in three, two, one, you've got the collective. All right, so our normal hover height is three to five feet. So what we're doing is we just wanna sit three to five feet above the ground here. If it starts to settle, then there, we do have a thing called ground effect. Okay, that will help us cushion. That's that cushion of air that's below the aircraft caused by the rotor wash. Okay, so it's helping us pushing against the ground to help us stay stay aloft here about three to five feet. Good, so collective and pedals are kind of easy. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to slowly start to raise that collective and bring us up. Good, now just kind of hold us here. Nice. All right, good. So now what I want you to do is lower the collective just a little bit, just so she starts to come down. I'm gonna push forward just a little bit because I don't like to come down straight in my downwash here. So we're just gonna come forward a little bit as you're lowering the collective. Good. Nice. Again, we just like to be right here, three to five feet. Let the downwash help us stay here. Sometimes you'll get that up and down motion. That's just, the higher you get, the less downwash you have. The closer you are to the ground, the more effective that it is. All right, so bring us up just a little bit. All right, now lower us down just a little bit. All right, so let's try, let's give you the pedals and the collective, all right? Ooh. Yeah, so feet on the pedals, left hand on the collective. I'll take care of the cyclic, all right? So now what you're in charge of is, is keeping us facing down the runway here and keeping us at the same hover height, all right? Wait, Ready? wait. If it starts to go left, I okay. push right? Correct, if the nose starts to go to the left, like so, then you're gonna push right pedal and you're gonna push it in enough to where it stops. Okay. Okay, and if we go up, then you're gonna lower Down. collective a little bit. All right, Got you it. ready? So I'm gonna give you pedals and collective. You ready? Okay. All right, here we go in three, two, one. You've got the pedals and collective. Good, so just bring us down just a little bit. And as you do that, add a little bit of right pedal. A little bit of right pedal there. There you go, good. And again, just keep looking outside. Okay, so bring us down just a little. Nice, doing just fine. There you go. Doing just fine, doing great. 
Alright, a little bit up. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna come on with you. Alright, I've got all aircraft controls. Alright, so now we're gonna give you the cyclic. So remember the cyclic controls front, back, left, and right. Okay, so if we start to drift forward like this, little aft cyclic to stop it, but then cyclic back to neutral. Okay, and you can feel how a little bit I'm moving it, right? It's here, or you're hardly moving it at all. All right, so again, you're gonna look outside, look down the runway. If the aircraft starts to drift, let's say we're going to drift into the right, then you're just gonna add a little bit of left input and then bring it back to center. Okay, again, just looking outside, just kind of feel it. I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. You're gonna have the cyclic, just the control in your right hand. Here we go in three, two, one. There you go. Push it forward just a little bit. Nice. Ooh, Coming on like with this. you. That's all right. <laughs> That's part of it. This is exactly what everybody goes through. You ready? We're gonna do it again. Ready? Yes. All right, in three, two, one. You got the cyclic. There you go, just nice little, nice, nice little inputs. Ooh. There you go, push forward a little bit. All right, coming on with you. All right, let's try it one more time, then you're gonna have all controls, all right? Oh my gosh. Here we go, one more time with the cyclic, then we're gonna have go and give you all controls as the last thing. You ready? All right, you ready? Sure. All right, here we go, in three, two, one. You've got the cyclic. Good, just feel it out, just a hair of half cyclic. There you go. Nice. Very good. Just a little bit, there you go. Just a little bit of four, nice. Good, just nice, easy on the touch. There you go. All right, coming on with you. All right, last one, last thing we're gonna do here. <laughs> You're gonna do all controls, all right? All right, so feet on the pedals. Left hand on the collective. Right hand on the cyclic. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm gonna yes. bring this up just a little bit so you can have a little bit of playroom. I'll be right here with you, all right? Okay. All right, you're gonna have them all. Looking outside, here we go. In three, two, one. You've got all aircraft controls. So just a little bit of right pedal. There you go, a little half cyclic. No, 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 no. Right, coming on with you. <laughs> All right, one last time. All right, don't get nervous. Just feel the aircraft. Just feel it out and do give it opposite input, opposite control input of what it's doing, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. I'll get a set up here, right into the wind. Here we go in three, three, two, one. You've got all aircraft controls looking outside. Nice, good. Just nice, a little bit of right pedal. There you go, a little aft cyclic. Okay, a little bit of left. There you go, a little bit of forward. All right, I'm gonna come on with you. Just so we don't hit. There we go. Nice. Typical of a new student, that's it, right there. Good job. Thank you. Did just fine. Well, how'd it feel? Like, how did you think it went? Good, I think. Yeah, I think it went just fun. I mean, did you think it was like harder than expected or easier or not what uh, you expected at all? Collective and the pedals are pretty easy, but it's... The yeah, the cyclic's always the one that, yes. uh, that's the always, that's that's the hardest to con control to learn. Because it, again, it's very sensitive to pedals. You know, if the nose goes to the left, you're just adding right pedal. Yeah. And then collective, if you're going up, then you're just gonna lower a collective a little bit. But the cyclic is the, that's the most difficult one. And then you throw them all together. Yes. <laughs> so it will. Your first true lesson. All these years of flying with your dad, and now you actually got a half an hour of dual time in a logbook. Now you're gonna have to get a logbook. So? Not better than being in school. <laughs> <laughs> Better than I'm doing it with you instead of my dad. Did your dad teach you to drive though? Dude. Yes. What's I that? love my dad. Dad, I love you. I just. <laughs> I'll tell you he, what, I he find would freak it's... me out.
Well, you know, my son, he's going through driver's ed right now, and so he drives a lot. I find myself in instructor mode when I'm sitting in the passenger seat and letting him drive. Half an hour duel in the book. Nice. We're about to get her a logbook. Just in case she decides she wants to do it again. <laughs> Sorry. I knew that would kind of be a distraction. Yeah, we got out there hovering. She's like, my dad distracted me. I was like, you got to block him out. Ignore him. Just, just listen to me. So how was it? What'd you think? Well. Did you do all right? What'd you think, Gloria? I think I've had this before where people concentrate too hard and it makes it right. do worse, I guess. Sure. Once, if she would stop thinking about it, you could tell, especially when we were out there doing like cruise flight, when she wasn't thinking about it, level, straight, nice. Even her approach was coming in, she was doing 90% of the approach. But as soon as I say, okay, well, you know, let's do a little bit of, a little bit of left pedal, she got right. distracted. And then the hovering, uh, pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. See, uh, typical uh, beginner, first timer. I mean, I've seen. <laughs> so. <laughs> awesome. This is a new maneuver guide. Work them this way as a free PDF. You can go down in the description box below and get a copy of it, pretty cool. Compliments of our operations manager, Brian Rutledge. And he based this off of the downloads we have for you inside the private pilot section inside Helicopter Line Ground School. Right there you can see the list of the different maneuvers. So it's just, it's a, it's just kind of a cool PDF. It's something you can take a look at. It'll be a free PDF down below. You can grab it, you can download it, print it off if, if you like. That will be in the description box.